Florida monster slain. An enormous reptile. I think that's reptile, yeah. More like the mythical dragon than a land serpent has been killed by a hunter in the lower Everglades. For 100 years, it has not only been a tradition among the Seminole Indians who inhabited the borders of Lake Okeechobee, but it is stated as fact within the knowledge of some of the Indians now living that an immense serpent made its home in the Everglades and has carried off at least two Indians. Hmm. And just, you know, real quick note here. So March 6th, 1902. Nice. So the, the whole, why I'm saying that is these people know what a... Oh yeah, yeah. Of um, course, they know what an alligator is. They of know course. what a. Or they know what a ten-foot rattlesnake is. Recently, Buster Farrell, or Farrell, one of the boldest and most noted hunters in the Okeechobee, who for twenty years has made the border of the lake and the Everglades his home, on one of his periodical expeditions into one of those lonesome wilds noted that what he supposed to be the pathway of an immense gator. For several days, he visited the locality for the purpose of killing the Saurian, like Saurian, Saur... That's a um, key word. And you yes, know, with all the dinosaurs dinosaur, I talk about. Yep. This is where it gets obfuscated and the dinosaur narrative comes from. They were all Saurians. They were all lizardy snakes. They weren't these weird shaped dinosaurs we see in mm -hmm. you know fantasy of today they were right. similar in ways but very different in others no they were in, they were plasma inhabiting animals you can say uh what lives you know you can list off a million species that live in the live in the dirt you can list off a million species that live in the water you can list list off a million species that live in the air well, that's three of the elements. Mm -hmm. What in what inhabits the fire? What yeah. inhabits the lightning? So this is a you know a realm humanity only has glimpses into every so often. So what what at times is physical passes into the realm of imagination. Yeah. You know, you could you could say it's an astrological thing, yeah. but it's not it's not as simple as all these things getting uh, killed out extinct they did go extinct in the literal sense but their memory blah 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 let's uh continue reading yeah i love the plasma idea though yeah i agree because there's you know there's been so much talk about that you know the plasma the dragons were were, were plasma serpents mm -hmm. or electrical yeah, it, serpents. it's not so much fire breathing or as it might be <clears throat> fire devouring mm -hmm. light light consuming and producing of course but yeah so, for several days, he visited the locality for the purpose of killing the Saurian. You can think of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, Saturnian component to that word. Sauron, Saturn, Saurian. And sorry, if you're sorry, that's a very Saturn word. You know, I'm sad, I'm sorry. You know, you, mm -hmm. you, you get it. Melancholy, but was, yeah but was unsuccessful in finding him. He studied some plant out with it. A large cypress stood near its pathway, and he concluded the best thing for him to do would be to climb this tree and take a stand for his, quote, gatorship. He accordingly prepared himself and took a, prop, took a position in the tree. For two days he stood on watch with his rifle ready, but without the desired success. On the third day, before he had been on his perch an hour, he was almost paralyzed <clears throat> by what looked to him like an immense serpent gliding along the supposed alligator track. He estimated it to be anywhere from 20 to 30 feet long and fully 10 to 12 inches in diameter, where the head joined the body and as large around as a barrel 10 feet farther back. Wow. The snake stopped within easy reach of his gun and raised its head to take a precautionary view of his surroundings. As it did, Pharrell opened fire on it 
shooting at its head. Taken by surprise, the serpent dashed into the marsh at railroad speed, while Pharrell kept a fire on it until he had emptied the magazine of his rifle, but failed to stop it. Almost four days afterward, he ventured back into the neighborhood to see how things were. And about a mile from where he first saw the snake, he saw a large flock of buzzards. He went to see what they were after, and there he found the creature dead and its body badly, its body so badly torn by the buzzards that it was impossible to save the skin. He, however, secured its head. It is truly a frightful looking object, fully 10 inches from jaw to jaw with ugly razor-like teeth. He described the animal as a dark color on the back with dingy white beneath and with feelers around its mouth similar to catfish. He has now gone back into the swamp with the intention of securing the skeleton and bringing it back, after which he will send it to the, hmm, Smithsonian Institution in Washington, of course. Scientists who have investigated the matter are convinced that the animal is not a land serpent. The latest society fad among the fat. Oh, no, no, that's the next article. Well, there you go. Florida monster slain. Sent to the Smithsonian. Never heard from again. Yep. Yeah, we've heard that a million times, haven't we? Yep. <laughs>